hey what's up guys this is mohit so today i am back with a new video after a few weeks so today in this video we are going to create a glitch logo intro in filmora let's have a look So first of all open your browser and search for this website pixlr.com and hit enter. Now click on this advanced photo editor option and before we proceed have a look on these files which you can download by the link in the description. So first one is glitch, second one is animation and third one is border. And now let's go back to our browser and click on this open image option and select this border file and click on open. Photo editor is open and let's now drag our logo here and if this message appears then just simply click on this add current option. So our logo is added and now we have to resize our logo and fit into this border. Once you are done resizing your logo then click on this background image option, right click on it and click on delete. So before we do any editing, go to file and then export your logo as PNG and let's name it logo white. Okay now go to edit and fill and now click on this white box. So first of all let's choose the solid red color and click on apply. And now again go to file and export this logo as PNG and let's name it logo red. Again select the logo and go to edit then fill and this time let's change the color to green click on apply and let's again export this logo as png and this time let's change the name to logo green and again go to fill option and this time change color to blue and export it as png and let's change the name to logo blue Okay, before we jump into Filmora, if your logo has some patterns like this, then you have to right click on your logo and click on this option to duplicate the layer. Now go to edit and fill option, change the color to red but this time you have to change the blending mode to dark and click on apply. And now you can export it as PNG. And now you have to delete this layer. Again right click and duplicate the layer, go to fill option and change the color then choose the blending mode to dark and export it as png then again change the color and export again as png so here we are in filmora and as you can see i have imported all the logo with this glitch file which you can download for free link in the description so first of all go to file and then project setting and i am editing on 25 fps but if your frame rate is different then make sure you change it to 25 fps Click on OK and now again go to File and this time Preferences. Go to Editing tab and change the photo duration from seconds to frames and change the value to 1. Now bring the blue logo to first layer, then green logo to second layer and red logo to third layer. And now bring three more logos in the same sequence. So I am on 0 frames and now double click on this red logo on third layer, open transform options, change the position x to 11 and y to minus 24. Now select the second layer, again change the position x to 13 and y to minus 20. Now select the first layer, only change position y to minus 8. Now go to 1 frames forward and we are on first frame now. Select the third layer and change the position x to minus 11, y to minus 17. Now select the second layer, change the position x to minus 10 and y to minus 9. Now select the first layer, change the position x to minus 40 and y to minus 10. Now again go to 1 frames forward and we are on second frame now. Select the third layer and change the position x to minus 4. Now select the second layer and change the position x to minus 18 and y to 15. Now select the first layer and change the position x to minus 53 and y to minus 21. Now again go to 1 frames forward and we are on third frame now. Select the third layer, change the position x to 6 and now select the second layer, change the position x to minus 18 and now select the first layer, change the position x to 
to minus 31 and y to minus 21. So now bring your main logo to the timeline, increase its duration and split your logo at 13th frame. Now go to 5th frame and bring this glitch file to the timeline. Now go to 12th frame and split this video. And now double click on this video, go to composition and change the blending mode to linear burn. Go to 13th frame and again bring all the logos sequence wise to the timeline, but this time only 3. So now I am on the 13th frame, double click on third layer, go to transform and change the position x to minus 2 and y to 6. Now select the second layer, change the position x to minus 11 and y to 0. Now select the first layer, change the position x to minus 35 and y to 29. Now I am on 14th frame, select the third layer, change the position x to minus 3, y to minus 4. Select the second layer, position x to minus 11 and y to 1. First layer, position x minus 19 and y to 14. Now I am on 15th frame, select the third layer, change the position x to minus 9 and y to minus 9. Select the second layer, position x to minus 7 and y to 5. Select the first layer, position x to minus 26 and y to 24. On 16th frame, again add your main logo to the timeline and increase its duration till 1 second and 5 frames. Now go to 17th frame and add the same glitch file to the timeline. But this time, I want a little different glitch on this logo. So I am adding this glitch to above layer like this and splitting it on 17th frame. Delete this part and bring it down. Now go to 1 second and 4 frames and again split this layer. Now double click on this video, go to composition and change the blending mode to linear burn. On 1 second and 5 frames, again add all the logos only 2 times into the timeline. And now just simply add your logo and extend its duration to whatever you like. Now select these 4 logos, copy these and now go to the last frame and paste. So our logo glitch animation is ready, but we are not done yet. For now let's export this video and name it as logo glitch. So I have imported 2 stock footage. And I forgot to mention there is one more glitch video which you can download by the link in the description. And here is our logo glitch animation and finally the animation. And if your video is bright then double click on your video, go to composition and then decrease the opacity to whatever you like. And now bring the animation to the timeline, go to 2 seconds forward and split the animation. And if this animation doesn't fit your video, then just simply copy it and hit paste. And now bring this glitch video to the timeline and change its duration according to your video. And now double click on this video, go to composition and change the blending mode to screen. And now go to the last frame, click here two times to go two frames backward. Now go to sample colors and bring this black color to the timeline. Now again go to two frames backward and again bring the same black color to the timeline. But now go to three frames backward and bring the black color here. 
again go to 3 frames backward and add the black color. Now go to 4 frames backward and add the black color. And now again go to 4 frames backward and add black color. So we just created a flickering type effect which is also called strobe effect. And finally add this logo glitch animation to the timeline just like this. Now double click on it, go to composition and change the blending mode to screen. And yes we are finally done and let's see the preview. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more amazing videos like this. Also thank you to these amazing people who are supporting me on Patreon and YouTube membership. So thank you so much guys for supporting me and I will see you in the next video.